Now, I'm here to show you on how to configure the BIOS. So, we need first to restart the computer. And next, we need to click the Dell and F2 to show the BIOS setup. So, as we can see, in CMOS setup utility, here, here are the, the setups. So first, the standard CMOS setup, advanced setup, advanced chip setup, integrated peripherals, power management setup, PCI pen, PC setup, PC health status, frequency, voltage control, load default settings, supervisor password, user password, set and save and exit setup, exit without saving. So those are the set setups we need. Now, as we can see in the screen, the CMOS setup utility. First, settings, standard CMOS setup. Inside the CMOS setup system, we need to configure the time, the date, the month, and the year. And the second is the system time. We need to, to check the time is correct. Now, The primary ID master is not that not detected, so we need inside the primary ID master. We have a type LBE large mode block multiply sectors transfer, DIO mode, DME mode, smart 32 bit data transfer enabled. So next, the primary ID slaves. The next, the secondary ID master, secondary ID slaves are the same as the primary IDE master inside the following type LBE large mode block multiply sectors transfer PIO mode DME mode smart 32 bit data transfer so the third IDE master inside we encounter the LB large mode block multiply sectors transfer PIO mode DME mode smart 32 bit transfer is already the same at the first at primary ID master and the third ID slaves they are PIO mode and the MA mode in a PCI ID bus master we need to enable this in a floppy A disable so in a floppy A disable we need to enable the first in line in the case, we might want to also check to be sh make sure that if there is a setting disabled seeking out the floppy altogether that is set to end it seek out the floppy drive. Some of people set this off also to make the bot process faster, but you cannot do while building. If you are going to botting from the CD, as is probably the case if you are willing to installing Windows XP. Those are the basic what you need in this order to continue this tutorial and you have the PC set properly. Now I will go to brief motherboards manual is your best uh, reference a setting you need to concern yourself. So now we are here in the advanced setup. Here inside advanced setup is we can see the CPU TM function, max CPU ID, ma value limit, Execute disable bit enhance hold C1E quick power and stop test both up num lock status IP IC mode. The first bot device is the HDD. In option inside each bot device, we have HDD 3M SD 308-0215A. The second CD and DVD drive 3S. Asus CD S5 220V2, the next network traffic bot agent, and the last disabled. So we need her to in the CD drive DVD. A second bot device, the network traffic bot agent. And the third bot device, we need in CD drive DVD 3S Asus CD S5. 20B2.
and we have also hard desk drive. So we need this press enter and find the HDD 3M S2 P380215A. So in CD drive, DVD, and drives, we need to press enter and first the CD, DVD, 3S, and also CD S. So we need to enter this. And then last, next is the both other device. We need to enable this so the other device will be formed. And the last high performance event timer we need to enable. So the next, the advanced chip set chip setup. Inside the chip setup, we have the configuration of gram timing. So here in gram timing, by the SPD, then the Next, the DVD MT mode select. DVD mode select. We need to select this DVD MT mode. DVD MT and fixed memory. We need also inside option. We have 64 MB, 128 MB, the maximum DVD MT. So we need to select the 128 MB. And the last is the share memory size. We need to enable. So in, uh, inside the option, we have enable 1 MB, 8 MB. So we need to select the 8 MB. And the next, the integrated peripherals. Inside the integrated peripherals, we have onboard ID controller, onboard SATA controller, USB functions, legacy USB support, audio controller, onboard LAN function, onboard LAN bot room, serial port 1 address. Parallel port address, parallel port mode, SCP mode, DME channel, parallel port IRQ. So these are the inside settings of the the integrated peripherals. So the next, we have also power management setup. Inside the power management setup, there are ACPI suspend mode, soft off and PWPTNN. And next, PWRO and after the PWR fill, we need to off this. And next, to wake up by PME, power on right by the ring, USB keyboard, wake up from S3, PS2 keyboard, wake up disabled, PS2 mouse, wake up disabled, resume or RTC alarm disabled. Next, the PICPNT setup. PI is inside the PIC setup. Any display first. PCI card and the PCI Express are those options of inside any display first. So we need to select the PCI card. Next, to allocate the IRQ to PCI VGA, we need to yes, to select yes. Next, the PC health status. PC health status, a hardware health event monitoring. First, the smart fan function. We need to, to press enter. As we can see, the side smart fan control, we need to disable. So, shut down the temperature. We, as we can see, disable. So, as we need to disable this. And the next settings of the SEMO setup. We have also a frequency voltage control. Inside the voltage control, we have a drum frequency. So as we uh, as we can see inside the uh, drum frequency, we have 400 m megahertz and 533 megahertz, 667 megahertz. So we need to select auto. And the next, the auto detect DIMM slash PCIC 1K. We need to enable this also. Spread spectrum. The last settings of the side up. We need to disable also. So, so now in load default setting. Load default setting. We mean the bias version have preset set default values which will have can preload. Some have failed safe defaults and op optimized defaults. If you don't wish to mess with 
any of the above, you can use the pop option of set BIOS in information up to certain set of settings in one of the two button clicks. So we need to click here the Lord default settings. If you are, if you want to be, make sure that your BIOS is now finished to to install all other parts of the settings of the same setup. So if you don't want to need to try again, so we need to load default setting, select OK, and now we are now done done in our my setup. We need to save and exit the setup so that our bio setup configuration will perform good and performance. So we need to click the OK. And now our computer is now restarting. It's already now starting again. As we can see the setup here. So we are now done on how to configure the BIOS. We hope you that you have learned more in this tutorial on how to configure the BIOS.